The next week proved to be taxing beyond anything Sam had ever endured at work, and she wished for some of that silence, if only to catch her breath and to steady herself. She needed to clear her mind, and so she did the one of the things that still brought her clarity. She went for a run. Mentally, she was doubly exhausted. On one hand, Joel's pronouncements had hit just a little close to home for Sam. Despite Magdalene's assurances, and in spite of her own set of quite impressive accomplishments for her age and her humble beginnings, Sam had never been more aware of being gay in a workplace than right now. Her closet had been rather firmly shut for years, with Joanne the only person aware of its existence, but with Magdalene on the island and having both hands-on experience and first-hand knowledge, she cracked herself up with those idiotic puns at times about who Sam was, the safe if not always comfortable closet, was less and less secure. Sure, the Supreme Court's decision a year prior stated that an employer that discriminates against someone simply because they are gay or transgender breaks the law, and she felt safe in her position, but Sam's heart was still heavy. It was a unique experience for her. During Orla's tenure, Sam had felt comfortable enough. In fact, she often thought that coming out would have probably been a good idea since she felt so secure, but for a myriad of reasons she never had. She tried once at their evening brainstorming teas at Orla's, but every time she'd open her mouth, the words would not come out, the pun and the irony. So she never did open up her closet to Orla or to anyone else on the island bar Joanne. But if she was completely honest with herself, the reason for that was her refusal to be othered, because no matter where she went, she had always been seen as different, first as the only orphan attending dragons, then as to her knowledge, the only teen at school who did not dream of boys. If there were other gay students, and statistically there should have been, Sam never knew of them and dragons, led by Reverend Sanderson and his fire and brimstone speeches against all things sinful, did not encourage the queer girls to come out. Years went by, and it wasn't like her prospects of finding anyone on an island as small and as conservative as dragons were actually real, and so Sam had kept her secret. Until now.